This video is sponsored by PetFlow. I think I'll have some soup. Looks like I've got everything. My soup, my bowl, a microwave? Wait a minute. No, this is way too convenient. We're almost there. No. Stand back, Indy. This can get really hot. Oh gosh, Indy, no, that's my soup. You would never heat up your food like this when clearly there's an easier way. So why would you wait until you run out of dog food to then just drive across town, settle for a limited selection, lift heavy bags of food, wait in lines and traffic, and sacrifice a huge part of your day when you don't have to? Just go to Peplo, choose your dog's favorite brand of dog food, and tell them how often you want it delivered. And to make it extra easy to try, enter code ZAC30 when you check out, and you'll get $10 off your first three automatic shipments. All the details will be below. Click thumbs up for Orion, the adoptable shelter dog. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and join our Patreon community to get exclusive perks and rewards. For more dog training tips, make sure you're also following me on Facebook and Instagram as well. So many of you have been requesting that I work with more rescue and shelter dogs. That's a great idea. Orion, who appears to be a cattle dog mix, is currently living at Jefferson Parish Animal Shelter here in Louisiana. It looks like he's been in the shelter for about five months already, and he's looking for a great home, and you deserve a great home. Now, my understanding is that Orion was relinquished because the person who had him before didn't really have enough time for him. So he needs someone who's going to be able to put in the time it takes to get him trained and give him lots of love. You might notice that I'm playing tug of war and that's because he's two years old, but he still hasn't gotten rid of the puppy biting or the play biting, mainly because he doesn't really have anyone in his life to teach him. Puppy biting doesn't just go away because the dog gets older. So I'm teaching him that it's okay to bite on this right now instead of my flesh because you got big grown up teeth. And see now his interest is waning away from the toy and onto other things. So this is all part of the discovery process. You know, whenever you're working with a new dog, you can't just throw a template at them and hope everything works like it did with the last dog you trained. Every dog is completely different. Not to mention, imagine the environment he's used to living in day to day, and now he's out here on the green grass by the lake. This is a lot to take in. Nonetheless, I'm able to get his attention and get him playing with me a little bit, so that's a really good sign. The fastest way to get a dog into you is to get them playing with you. And remember, for many dogs, tug of war is the ultimate game, and they really love it. Orion seems to have a lot of energy, so for that reason, I want to know how easy it's going to be to get his energy out on a regular basis. Fetch is the easiest way to do that with most dogs. But I don't know if he knows the game of fetch, so I'm going to assess for that now. I'm going to put a long lead on him to make sure I have total control at all times. All right, hey, go get it. We go, good. Now we see if he brings it back. He'll chase it. Do you see what he does immediately? He tends to run away. You can see why the long lead is so important. It would be impossible to have any success with fetch right now without this lead. The reason I want to check for this straight away, when a dog has this much pent up energy, it's unrealistic for them to absorb new concepts. So by getting the energy out, they're way easier to train. Bikes are coming by. I want to make sure that I can get him into this tug toy. Hey, Orion, what's this? I'm trying to preemptively get his attention on me, in this case by using a toy and being more exciting than the bikes going by. There we go. Good job. What's this? There we go. Good, and get it. Right there. Now, when he picks it up this time, I'm going to run from him. See if I can get him to chase me. Look how effective that is. I'm going to run back this way now. Yes. Dogs love to play chase. And, and that's why they run from you. But if you can get them chasing you, well, that's okay. <laughs> Good, we're gonna do some jogging here. And look at this, this is a fundamental part of teaching fetch. You get your dog to follow you. Come on, yes, getting low to the ground. Oh, perfect, good job. And because he brought it to me, I'm gonna go ahead and play with him. See, the reason I like introducing fetch with a rope toy is because you can play tug with it. Remember, this is fun to your dog and is sufficient as a currency if your dog is this into it. And let go. He doesn't know let go, so I'm just gonna make the toy boring and wait. Good, he let go for a brief moment. I'm gonna do a short throw. Come on, obviously he's just come from the shelter here just moments ago. I'm not going to insist that he have a perfect fetch right now. It's important that he really unwind and have a good time as well. I'd say he's having a pretty good time right now. What are you doing? That's not fetch. And since he got distracted by the grass right there, I wanna let him know, again, paying attention to me is the way to go. So I'm gonna not just throw the toy, I'm gonna get him back into it by playing some tug with him right now. See, he's interested in me again. See his tongue hanging out as he's panting right now? That's what you want. You want a dog who is a bit winded because that means it's the perfect time to train them. They don't have all this pent up energy and this is the frame of mind you want them in when you're training them. Do you like a belly rub? Are you having a good time? Hey, roll on your back and wiggle around. 
the easiest dog to train ever. I feel like we've gotten that initial layer of energy out. Now I think he's perfectly primed to be able to do a normal training lesson. What are you doing? You can't jump on me, Orion. So you can see Orion has a jumping issue here. He does like to jump up. That's natural for a lot of dogs, but that's something we should pay attention to. But before I can hope to teach him not to jump, I have to teach him how to pay attention to me. After all, that kind of is the definition of dog training. So the first thing I'm gonna do is see if I can get his eyes on me. You've seen me train this before, but let me see if I can hold that treat up. Yes, good. I'm gonna start using the word yes very purposefully like that to let him know when he did the right thing. Yes, good. Second those eyes meet mine, I'm gonna say yes. And every time I say yes, I'm following it up with the treat. So it means something. Yes, good. Right there, do you see how he's starting to equate the word yes with, oh, okay, I get the treat now. That's awesome, that's what we want. The word yes is the most powerful word in dog training. Notice my tight training bubble right now. I'm very close to him, eye to eye. It's easier for your dog to pay attention when you're close. Of course, you know, with any dog that you just meet, you wanna be cautious with, but I feel pretty comfortable with Orion so far. We've had some success. We've been able to get him to look at us a little bit. Now let's see if we can teach him some basic impulse control. It's important that dogs know how to override their impulses, which is kind of tough for many dogs, especially if they haven't had training. So I'm gonna let him know I've got turkey in my hand right here. I'm gonna close my hand. And when he gives up on it, I'm gonna give it to him. Leave it. Right there, he just glanced up at me as if to say, what do I have to do? And that's all you have to do. You just have to look up to me. So really what I'm trying to communicate here is, look, when you stop being so pushy and stop being insistent and wait patiently, I'm gonna give you what you want. I'm working up to being able to hold it right in front of him. Yes. Good, now we can start introducing the term leave it to him. Leave it. Yes, good. Nice work. We have a dog coming by. I have no idea how he is with dogs, so I'm gonna back off a little to create some distance preemptively and then just try and take it from there. I'm trying to prevent him from reacting at all. And the way he's looking at that dog right now kind of makes me think that he might react unfavorably towards that dog, either by barking or lunging, which is a natural behavior. So I'll create distance here. Or I'm gonna do some conditioning right now and just give him little tiny pieces of meat here as the other dog walks by, trying to do everything I can to create a positive instance right here. See how he's refusing? the treats so I'm gonna go ahead and back up and create more distance oh there we go so that's the working distance so right now it may look like I'm just giving him treats well that is exactly what I'm doing and a lot of people might say why are you giving him treats if he's reacting unfavorably towards a dog because I'm trying to condition him and keep him calm and if I can keep his mind on treats instead of barking at another dog I'm preventing a bad habit from getting established that's my goal all right so let's go back now and resume our training lesson so we've got look at me we have leave it now it's time to combine the two the leave it look at me combo is required for every dog. Yes, good, and just making that little sound, because he doesn't really know look at me. He may not even know what the word leave it means. I'm just gradually trying to introduce these terms. That takes, you know, several days of practice. Do you know why this is so important? This is the first distraction you're providing for your dog right here, leaving a treat alone and showing them, hey, when you want to get something, sometimes I need you to pay attention to me instead. And that's kind of the bigger picture here, what we're trying to teach. I mean, it's clear to me that Orion has not had very much training at all. And in light of that, he is doing awesome. While it is true, that some shelter dogs may develop bad habits or have extra hyperactivity. It's just like training any other dog. And of course, some of the best dogs on earth are from animal shelters. Click thumbs up for Orion, the adoptable shelter dog. I'll have his information below. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Make everything more convenient. Get your dog's food shipped to you from PetFlow. And do you want daily dog training tips? Follow me on Instagram for more videos and tips. I've just announced my newest book too. So if you'd like to order it, I'll have that link and everything else I just mentioned in the description below. I hope you guys like this video and this is a reminder to let you know we're really active on Instagram and that you can get dog training tips virtually daily as well as be a part of my live broadcasts. For those not familiar, Instagram is a mobile only app. So go download the app. I'll have my Instagram link below for you to check out. Follow me there.